Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark 3, 13 to 19. Jesus went up into the hills and summoned those he wanted. So they came to him and he appointed twelve. They were to be his companions and to be sent out to preach, with power to cast out devils. And so he appointed the twelve, Simon to whom he gave the name Peter, James the son of Zebedee and John the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bonerges or sons of thunder, then Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, the man who was to betray him. Empowering His Disciples Discipleship gives everyone the ability to imitate Jesus in every way. Jesus appointed the twelve who were to be his companions and to be sent out to preach with power to cast out devils. Jesus appointing the twelve who would share his ministry reflects both the nature of the kingdom of God and the ministry style of Jesus. The kingdom of God is a community of believers. As a community, we all share in the responsibilities of proclaiming the good news and confronting evil. No one is a passive spectator. All members of the community are active participants in the works of salvation. Jesus' appointment of the Twelve reflects what we believe about God, that God is a trinity of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which makes Him a community in Himself. Jesus mirrors this divine community in his own earthly ministry when he called the Twelve to share with him intimately and fully. Jesus empowers disciples. He does not make them helpless servants who must wait on the Master for everything. Discipleship gives everyone the ability to imitate Jesus in every way. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.